All right, what's going on, YouTube? It's been another week-ish, maybe more, two weeks, something. I don't remember. I don't remember when I last posted my videos. I've just been kind of keeping track, watching the views, you guys' comments, replying, and uh, been working on some stuff. I'm thinking, what can I do, you know, to make an RPG better? What's what's the main parts of an RPG? And I'm like, hey, quests. So why don't we kind of show a basic way to do quests? And then maybe if I if I um uh, have a, if I can get the enemy death thing to work properly, we'll, we'll expand our quest thing, uh, or our quest base and AIs too. We'll have interactable AIs right now. It won't be an interactable AI or in, interactive interactable. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with my English right now. It won't be an interactive AI. So you can't walk up and talk and have conversation. Yes. I want to take this quest. No, I don't. Uh, I'll show you what it will be here um, as we uh, as we go along and make it. Um, but uh, first of all, just to get started with it, you're just going to want to make a new blueprint class as an actor and uh, name it whatever you want. Uh, for the purposes of the video, I named it Quest. So you can make it whatever you want model-wise. I mean, if you want to implement this, this is something that's going to be... Um, an, be uh, implemented into our AI once we once I once I figure out how to get AI working because I'm not really good with that. Um, so once I spend some time working on AI, this is what we'll implement into it. Um, but this is just how to get a super simple uh, a quest like accepted uh, and started and completed is what we'll be going through. Um, I don't think we're gonna do anything uh, visual wise on our HUD. Uh, or you know our UI, it's HUD would be more if I was talking about an FPS, but you get what I'm saying. I don't think I'm gonna have a quest menu quite yet. That might be in the next video, but just uh, create a little. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little block. Uh, excuse me. So uh, I just like my little cubes. I'm just gonna do a little cube, and uh, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna put anything on it. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, and then I want to do a little text above it as well uh, that will uh, disappear once we uh, accept the quest. Um, so I'm going to float this above. Can I center this? Center. There we go. Okay, we're going to float it above. And... Uh, hold on. Crap, I meant to do... I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do uh, a billboard because um, the billboard is, if you guys don't know, it's the little thing that uh, follows your character everywhere you go when you look around. So you see that, that it's following me. And if I attach this, I don't know if the text will follow me as well. No, it doesn't. Uh, that would have been really nice, but um, I want it so that way the text follows the player. So that way the, the text can always be seen by the player and uh, if we do that that will allow for um, it just I feel like aesthetics and we'll just always be able to see that you know um, from any angle just makes it better uh, but I can't seem to get that working so I'm not gonna do that that's great either way I'm like I said I'm gonna have some text up here and I'm gonna want that to say um, uh, press uh, E to accept quest. Um, I don't good, yeah. It's 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 uh it's not working. Hold hold on a second. Um, I'm confused. Okay, well that was really, really awkward. Um, I just deleted it and and uh, typed it in again and it didn't work, but when I changed the name, then it put it back up. Like, then the, then the words popped up. So we're going to put it up high because the cube's probably just going to be on the floor or something, I assume, and we'll just walk over it. Um, and then just plop a little collision on the cube as well, um, a box collision um, under the cube, and scale it up, come on, there we go, no, I'm, 
losing my mind. There we go. And um, that's that's going to overlap all perfect. Um, although, yeah, we're just going to have that. Uh, sorry, ignore everything and only overlap player. That's what we need because we don't want anyone else overlapping over that. So compile that and um, and when you uh, when the overlap is is done, we're going to want to on begin and then we're going to want one for on end uh, overlap because we need to check if we can interact. Um, also a, a tick will be needed. Um, so create a variable uh, that's a bool called interact interacted. Uh, obviously it's just going to be the yes or no. We're going to get it, duplicate it, sorry, um, set it. Duplicate that. So when we overlap, um, actually rename that to able to interact because that's not going to be that we've interacted. I can't spell able uh, to interact. So that's going to be the yes or no. And then on the tick, we're going to uh, branch to see um, if we are able to interact. And uh, if we are, uh, cast uh, to the bro dude, um, or RPG bro, sorry I'm on the wrong tutorial series, <laughs> and uh, just get pawn, get player pawn, and uh, get interact. So, um, if that's true, um, branch. Because remember, on our on our guy, uh, interact is the um, interact is when we press E. So yeah, that's ironic. I already had it up. So interact is when we press E. So uh, once you know. Uh, like the text says, you know, press E to accept the quest. So once E is pressed, we're going to want to accept the quest. So we're going to want to say uh, create a variable um, called uh, quest accepted, right? And we're going to set that to true. And if and if we did not, of course, it's just the quest is not going to be accepted. Um, actually, no, we don't want that because that's going to that's going to make it turn on and off all the time if we do that. So if we press E, uh, we're able to interact. We're over it. We press E, then sweet the quest is. Uh, accepted. I just thought I actually am gonna want to scale this up because we're not gonna we're not gonna be like right on top of the cube necessarily. We'll just be kind of around it. Uh, whoa! Didn't want to do that. <laughs> there we go. And um, so. Now that we have quest accepted, I want to uh, actually make sequence this because we're gonna have something else coming off of it. I cannot spell. Jeez, don't know what is going on today. Uh, we're going to branch, and I just want to create that into a little node called. Uh, check uh, if quest com is completed, I guess, is com
completed. I'm probably not spelling anything right, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we're not taking English lessons. It's summer break. I literally, this is my first day on summer break. Just got off yesterday. Um, actually, this is my last day of school. It's freshman, so yeah, I'm already a sophomore. That's so fun. Um, so the condition is going to be a couple, uh, actually, it should be only be one thing. Uh, I should have stated this earlier, our quest, um, remember, I don't know if you guys were here for the last episode, I really hope you were, it's emotional to me, if, you, or if you're not, because it's, you know, I, I want you guys to see everything that's going on. No, um, honestly though, on, on the last episode, we uh, we made a bonfire that's, I guess, as close as I could get to Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls-esque bonfire kind of a thing, and our quest is going to be to light that bonfire, so, um, in, in, Obviously, it this would be very specific. Um, you could you're like, well, how do I know? It's not just for any bonfire. Well, you could you know have several different bonfire blueprints, and this one is the um, mountain top bonfire, and then you've got an, another one that's the you know valley bonfire. I'm I'm just being very original with these names, aren't I? And uh, we're going to create some variables in this that's going to tell us whether the bonfire is lit or not, obviously. But, um, it, you know, it's going to, you make it very specific to that, and so that way it's not just like, oh, well, he lit any bonfire, that's cool. It's very specific because we're going to cast it to our bonfire. Now, of course, um, you would have, in this case, a different name because you would have a different blueprint for each bonfire. Um, or, no, you would have a parent bonfire, like we have with our uh, weapons. You'd have a parent weapon, and then you have your uh, children, which are um, a duplicate of the parent, but have different variables, you know, our location, the name, whatever, uh, the quest that it completes. And uh, this will also work if uh, you just need to... Uh, crap! Uh, let's just promote it to variable. Yes? No. Crap. Uh, we're not going to cast a bonfire. We're going to make a bonfire variable. Just make it the bonfire. Let's be honest. I'm not doing anything too new here. Um, dang it. I am doing horrible today. Nope. Really, really horrible. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Get inter. Uh... Oh, sorry. We haven't created the variable. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We need to go over there and create the variable. Anyways, um, I'm sure I was saying something before that. And I don't remember what I was saying. Um, bonfires weirdness. I don't even remember what I was saying. That's awesome. So once it's set active, um. Just create a new variable called uh, bon bonfire is active. Uh, set that to true, and now over here we can get bon fire is active. I don't know why that's doing that. Is that because I haven't compiled it yet? That's because I haven't compiled it. Okay. So if it's true that the bonfire is active, then geez. Okay. Um, quest is complete. Now, we wouldn't need that any other time. The quest is complete. We wouldn't need that if, you know, um, you're not getting a reward or if you don't want, if you don't have a HUD because if you, or UI, because if you don't have a UI, then um, you don't have anything up there saying that there is a quest. But since we are going to eventually implement that into our UI, we're going to put that in there now because we once that is checked true, that's going to disappear from our quest list. That's its application. If you're wondering why I'm putting it in there, I'm, I'm not going to use it. But obviously, I'm going to set it to true. 
and that's that's pretty much how we're going to do it now obviously after which let's just to show that it's working we'll just print string saying um, you know uh, quest complete I know I'm not uh, speaking oh my gosh I am doing horrible I know I'm not spelling things right <laughs> Um, we're also want to set um, set text um, to new variable uh, new variable. So obviously, uh, I guess we got to promote that. Correct. We're gonna set the text to um, quest complete. That's how you spell complete. Anyways, um, and that's that should be just about it. Um, other than that, there's nothing to do but to just test it out to see that we have it complete. Also, I'm sure we let's. I'm sure let's. Uh, you know, for this we could we could get some money. So um, don't we have money? I thought yeah, yeah. Let's uh, um, cast. Let's just get RPG bro pawn uh, set current money. And we will do plus current money plus let's give them 500. Save that up. And I guess now we can test it out. Actually, why don't <laughs> why don't we actually put the quest in the world, shall we? Okay, so we'll have that over here. Um, let's rotate it around so that way we don't have to walk around to the other side to see our words. It's really dumb. I'm, I'm going to have to work on how to make words over the player. But we've got a... Uh, I know we've got money somewhere around here. Oh, I have the UI hidden, and I remember why, but that's fine. Yeah, I've got the entire UI hidden. Alright, so we're going to walk up, press E to accept the quest. So we have accepted the quest. Now we're going to go over here. The bonfire has been lit. And it should have said quest complete. Should have. Let me, let me see where I goofed up because I was talking and sometimes I goof up while I'm talking. Maybe I should stop talking in these videos. Wow, I wonder how many thousand people like that yeah okay I'll, I'll, I'll be right back so I'm gonna be honest with you I, I, I'm posting this as a way to um, hmm I, I, I kind of have to post this for multiple reasons kind of because for one I need to get some videos out and for two um, this is literally like the way you would make a quest but I have issues with my engines left and right, and I'm having more issues. So if you are coming up with the same issues, please tell me, and I will try to spend more time on working on them. But right now, I really think it is just my engine uh, goofing up again because my computer never wants to do UE4 properly. But either way, that is how you would make quest and light your bonfire and do the quest and complete the quest and all that yep that's pretty much how you do it so i really hope you guys enjoyed and i hope it works for you because my stuff is crapping out on me again uh please like right comment subscribe subscribing helps a lot lets me know how many of you guys are watching and whatnot and i'll hopefully get some recommendations for videos to do next and i'll see you guys in the next one